you come out and you give up a uh, kickoff return right out of the uh, out of halftime, and then uh, you know we, we had an opportunity to score on uh, you know on a trick play, and uh, we threw an interception there. Uh, they they hit their wide out for a big play, and uh, you know just changed the tide of the game. But uh, all in all, yeah, I'm proud of the way that our guys played. We, we've got to get better, and, and we'll go back tomorrow and uh, assess our mistakes and be ready to go for Old Dominion. Surprised by how the game started? Or? No, no, uh, not 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 surprised at all. I, I think our kids have prepared well. Uh, offensively, uh, we're, we're better than we were a year ago, and it was great to come out and be able to score on the first drive. And I, I think another point in the game that I'm really proud of our guys is when we went down 21-7, we didn't fold. Uh, you know, the defense got some stops for us there. Um, we just got to learn that uh, 30 minutes of football <laughs> doesn't really cut it. What adjustment did they make? <laughs> well, they got their wide out back. That's one adjustment that they made. Yeah. But, but I think uh, you know, I, I think they they went in and kind of just calmed down and, and, and came back out and they played Big Ten football. Uh, if you see what happens in the Big Ten week in and week out, that's what they were able to do to us in the second half. Yeah, what did you see uh, offensively? Did you change with it? Was it just a matter of personnel in the second half. In the second half, no. I mean, they just got the receiver back. They got number four. So I mean, I know they were going to go to him as soon as he got back. So I was telling the guy, you know I mean, he's a playmaker, so he's made plays. At halftime, were you going to sit there and go and make a couple of plays when right in this? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we definitely, we were definitely in it. We weren't putting our head down, we weren't talking anything, so we were definitely in it. We just had to keep on playing. But, I mean, in results at the Big Ten, so we're going to take this one and focus on next week. Greg, what you want about the offense today? Um, I learned that well, we have, I always knew we had big fair ability, but now that we've shown it, we feel like we need to go to the system. Yes. Like I said, I we had a lot of big fair ability, we just got to make them, we just got to come out and do that job. So, it's a tech system. We came out with some great, we came out with some great. Was there pressure, something that kind of cut down on the big plays though? Because they seem to get pressure on you guys. I mean, football, I mean, they didn't do much different from the first half and the second half. When you look at how the game started, you know, the first first half and second half were so different. Do you take away more positives than negatives from this game? Uh, we'll have to go back and see. You know, obviously, we, we were excited about uh, some of the plays that we made in the first half, and we were less excited about uh, some of the plays we made in the second half. But I mean, again, you, you can't beat anybody if you give up 35 points in a quarter. Uh, you know, I watched the Baylor SMU game last night. It's a you know, it's it's a tight football game until the third quarter, and they blew it open. Uh, we we've just got to make sure that, that in all phases, um, you know, we're, we're we're competitive and we're doing the right things that uh, that will give us a chance to win. I, I think. Uh, there are some positives in it, but but as I've told you all summer long, we've got a bunch of work to do. How about you, Greg? When you think about this game tomorrow, do you think you'll have more positive thoughts than negative thoughts? Um, we didn't win, so, but it's, it's definitely a lot of positive to go on. Um, I've had faith in the coaches and the team that, that we're getting together. Any other questions from the players? Any injuries or anything else? No, we came out of it other than uh, I think we might have had two guys that had some, some minor cramping, but uh, I thought we were in great shape. And, uh, you know, I, I want to commend uh, Coach Flood and his team. The, the guys played. They played hard. They were physical. It was a clean ball game. I thought the game was well officiated. Uh, it was a first-class uh, opportunity for us to be here. Are you surprised at how they played considering all the football that's been going on around here in the sense of he's under investigation, players were kicked off the team, things like that? I think uh, football players are some of the most resilient people in the world, and uh, football coaches are former football players. And I think uh, we, we all have a mentality, be it at Norfolk State or at Rutgers, that when you feel like somebody's attacking you, uh, your leader or, or some of your teammates, you close rank and, and you do exactly what you have to do. So you have to commend Kyle and his, and his staff and, and his kids for, for being able to handle those distractions. Beyond you, um, you had a really good first half. Overall, you had six catches for 100 yards and one touchdown. What did Rutgers do after you got that 
pretty catchy. You can touch on a one drive to kind of slow you down a bit, kind of double team you and take you out of the game. You know, like I said, just consistency at the whole offense, the whole game. It wasn't really much big changes in the game, so it's definitely bad. How much do you feel like you missed your position? Um, you know, I, I tell our guys all the time, uh, I've never lost a game with guys that weren't there. And, uh, you know, we, we lost this game with the 60 guys that we brought. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry that those guys weren't here for whatever reason, but we'll get them all back and uh, we'll be ready to go.